Confidence is key, especially for kids. Confident kids are better able to handle peer pressure, big emotions, challenges. They try new things. Here to talk about ways to boost our kids' confidence, we've got Allison Bogle with Austin Family. Allison, how are you? Nice to be here. Yeah, so uh, you've got a prop. I don't know when we're going to use it, but you just let me know. Uh, <laughs> number one, avoid criticism. Don't do that. Right. So, I mean, it, it kind of should be obvious, right? We don't like being criticized as adults, right. but I think as parents, sometimes we feel like we're maybe encouraging our children when we're pointing things out about them so that mm -hmm. then they can improve. Um, but that's not how it hits them. It hits them as criticism, and it really does take a notch in their self-confidence. So we want to think about the words that we're saying and be careful that it, that we're not coming off as critical. Yeah, sort of a, a different way to to do that. Absolutely. Do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, help them find passion. Yes, so if they are doing something they love, they're more likely to be good at it. And if they're likely to be good at it, then that's how you just build that natural sense of confidence, right? Like you're proud in yourself. I am I can do something like this. And it's coming from within instead of from us saying, oh, you're so good at this or you're so great at that. It's that true sense of confidence that they can rely on and that helps them weather those storms. Yeah, and then you need to model confidence, which means we need to be confident and portray that right? yeah well and I know that you know this because you have children yeah. they are always watching and they are always listening it's true. and so we just want to think about how are we talking to ourselves so are we saying things like oh, I'm no good at this or you know I, I can't do this um, and instead it's well this is kind of hard but I'm gonna stick with it and saying those things out loud that we might not naturally say out loud but it's a way to teach our kids because they are listening and sometimes they'll do what we say that way more than if we say it directly that's a good point. Very good mm -hmm. point. Uh, speak positively to and about them. Okay, and this is where you get to see the prop. Okay. Okay, prop so my, my son made this for the last Mother's Day. Okay. And it's a little jar. He made it in school, and it says, if your job ever feels hard, pull out one of these notes that um, uh, read how I feel about you. Yeah. So then back up six months before, I was having a conversation with him, and I was just thinking, what? You know, he's such a neat kid. And I said to him, I love the way your mind works. So now, half a year later, I open this jar. Here's the first thing that I read. Handwriting's a little childish, but... I love the way your mind works. Yeah. yeah. I love you because I love the way your mind works. Yeah, That's and cool. so something that I said to him meant that much that he filed it away in his little heart half a year later it was top of mind to put it in here. Yeah. And so that's the power that our words have, right? So we want to make sure that we are speaking positively about them. And in the reverse, we can really um, put some negative things in their hearts. So we want to be careful not to do that. Yeah. Also, praise the process. Yes. So um, that means praise the process, not the outcome. So not, oh, I'm so proud that you got 100 on the test. Because now if they don't get 100 on the test, they feel like, oh, maybe dad's not going to be so proud of me anymore. So it looks more like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm so proud of how hard you worked studying. I saw you putting in extra time. That must feel really good to have your efforts pay off. Yeah. So praise that process. Amazing. Uh, anything else we need to know about this topic? That's it's... good. Just love them up. Speak positively. Yeah. And watch how you talk to yourself. That's true. And they're always listening. You're always right. listening. It's a little scary. Confident kids. Allison Bogle, Boston Family. Thanks, Allison. Thank you.